Hi guys, Rock and Robin here. You are on Rock and Robin's Garage Sale Find, the YouTube channel that helps resellers make more money selling online. Well, today we're going to talk about books. Do you sell books? Do you have books to sell? Well, I've tried to sell books and I sell some books, but I'm going to talk to you. If you want to be a reseller who sells nothing but books, or if you just want to sell a few, whichever, I'm going to talk to you about reselling books, some tips, some secrets, some experiences that I've had with selling books, different things that are going to help you to make more money. Now, if this is your first time here, I want you to see that I bought a new Disney shirt probably still has the tag on it. Uh, I went to Disney recently. I went to their creation store, the new creation store, and I bought some items to resell, and I also bought this for myself. I bought one item that I sold on the same day that I bought it to someone else in the park. I have a video in Rockin' Robin 103 on creation store if you want to see that and learn a little bit about that. I mostly just did something on the store, but I had to buy stuff because I do eBay. So that's the way that is. Now we sell on eBay and that is where we started. This all started for me selling on eBay. We sell on Mercari and that is becoming a really good place for us to sell. I really love Mercari. We sell on Poshmark and I sell some clothes. I haven't put this up on. Well, I have others. This one is mine. And we also sell on Facebook Marketplace and we sell at the flea market now you stay with us we're going to talk about books not about my shirt we're going to talk about selling books be right back welcome back we're talking about selling books now when i first started ebay i thought about selling books and i said i sell a million books i'll make a million bucks and i thought even if i sell them for a dollar or two dollars I can still make a lot of money there's a lot of books out there but what I found was it's hard to sell books unless you know what you're doing uh, yeah you can buy books for a buck and two bucks and three bucks but I found for me selling other items made more money than selling books now if you're a book person I think this is a great place to sell on eBay. Now I started eBay and Amazon. I was selling on both eBay, Amazon, eBay, Amazon. Now I don't even sell on Amazon, but that was a great place. Now I want to tell you that if you are a book collector, it's probably not a great place to sell books. And by that, I mean, you're not going to get the money that you think they're worth. Now, uh, I worked with this guy who he was a book collector and he had his whole house full of books and he wanted to sell his books and he would give me and he goes, this is worth $200. I want $200 for this. And I look on up on eBay and it was selling for 25. And he was like, I'm not selling for 25. It's worth 200. What's the matter with you? So I was afraid to put up his books. He eventually gave me a book that he thought was worth 25. I put it up for 25. It was selling for 10. I could not sell the book and he was mad. So if you're a collector, the value of what you think the books are worth and what they sell on eBay are not the same thing. So you're gonna get upset. So it might not be the best way for you to sell books. Now, if you are just a collector and you don't care what you sell them at, it's a great way to sell books because you'll sell them. But if you're worried about the money and you want what they're worth, it's not. Now, a lot of people just do books in general. I know somebody who he makes a living. All he does is books and he goes all over the country and he'll go this all over the state every single week and then he'll make trips around the country from time to time to go to specific bookstores but all week long and he sells a lot of books but you have to know what you're doing. You can't be a person who says I'm going to do books and you know nothing about books. I didn't know anything about books. I know what I liked, I know what I read, but I don't know about books the other way, what other people read and what's valuable. Now, if you do, it's a good place to do it. Look them up all the time. Go into a bookstore or go look at them up on the app. I have a video where I show you on an app how to look things up. Do it. Now, you may find you can make a good living at it, but it's not easy. You have to really know and you have to be patient. 
and you have to buy the right book and you have to realize condition is important age is important you have to know if it's the first edition if it's the last edition if it's signed if it's a true signed book a lot of different things I buy books when they're cheap and there's a whole collection and I know I can sell the whole collection to make money very seldom do I go and I buy a book because I know it's valuable I just don't know enough but chances are if you're watching this video you must you might know what it's worth so it might be a perfect thing for you so don't think selling books is is a bad thing it's a good thing and if that's what you want to do do it do it but make sure you're making money and then one of the problems with selling books is they take up a lot of space and they're very heavy so if you got to move boxes around they're heavy boxes they're not light boxes you better have a good back because you got to move them so I, I wanted to tell you that and I also want to tell you if you like our channel and the tips and the secrets that we give you please remember to subscribe we appreciate that and if you give us a thumbs up we like that and lastly we want to tell you to don't forget to hit the bell because that notifies you when we have more videos and we have tips and secrets and videos all the time and we come out Mondays and Fridays at this time so we don't want you to miss anything now what else do we have to tell you about books well there's a lot of books out there the thing is there's always new books it's not something that you're not going to find some books because there's always books and you go to almost every garage sale and every thrift store and you're going to find books don't be afraid to get a cart go to a thrift store get some books you think are valuable and look them up and then put them back the ones that aren't going to sell it's going to take you a while unless you know what you're doing you're going to be sitting there for a long time looking up books now do i know any books in particular that sell i know a couple not easy to find i've found maybe three books in my lifetime that sold for over a hundred dollars that's great i'm not saying you have to sell a hundred dollar books if you get it for a quarter you sell it for 15 there's nothing wrong with that but you have to know what sells you have to know the year but don't be afraid to look don't be afraid to get collections even at garage sales look them up you can start by selling some books that you have in your house I, I guarantee you I mean who doesn't read I guarantee you have some books in your house that are gonna sell why not resell them and if you have a collection sell them now paperbacks are sometimes harder than hardcovers I can tell you I tend to only look for hardcovers because they sell more but that doesn't mean paperbacks won't sell I've sold collections that did sell so don't let that interfere with you and don't think they have to be old don't think they have to be first editions those things are good but they're not musts so those are the things that I'm going to tell you about books if you have another question about books something I haven't answered and I might know ask me I'll do my best to answer like I said I don't know everything about books but I try to tell you what I can so that if you want to do it you could make some money because I think you really can make money if you do books and you know what you're doing and you do it right so this is rock and robin now go out there find yourself a book put it up on ebay put it up on mercari put it up as many formats as you can and then you go make yourself some money see you soon